Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, this when we do the reloading. Sometimes we sort of like run out of the powder, we didn't notice, or sometimes the the powder thrower got some little problem, they, they didn't drop enough powder into the case. So yeah, I, I've I encountered a few times of the this problem, but uh, I even don't know when did this happen and why, because um, I reload like uh, two, three hundred rounds a time. So probably sometimes I got a, a couple, they didn't drop enough powder into the case or they didn't drop the powder at all just the empty case went through and uh, i didn't notice at all so what's happening is when you put this round into the your firearm your, your pistol or your rifle um, then when there's not enough powder if without powder that's better because it's, it's not going to fire at all but if you've got a, just a tiny little, little bit of powder in that inside of it so what's going to happen is uh, this is not enough pressure to push the projector out of the barrel. So the, the projector will stuck into the barrel. And if you don't realize you, you're shooting the second one, second round, you keep shooting it, or more projector stuck into the barrel. So eventually you, you, you will damage the barrel. So that's a very uh, unfortunate thing. You don't want to see it. You don't want to happen to yourself. So after a while, I'm thinking, no, I, I, I want to make something to, to prevent this uh, happening again. Yeah, this happened to me a couple of times. Lucky I realized straight away. When one didn't fire or I can hear the sound is a bit strange, so I stopped shooting. Then I use a, like a brass rod to push from the, from the front of the barrel, push up, back up the, 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 the bullet stuck in, inside of the, the barrel. So that's me, I didn't do uh, any damage to the barrel, but uh, I just don't want this happen again. So uh, I designed something uh, to give us a little bit of warning if there's no powder or not enough powder inside there. So that's the thing I'm going to show you guys today, which is uh, this little device. This come with uh, three different parts that's the main unit which is uh, the warning device with the lights you can see that's the lights there so that is a, a standard die this die is universal basically all the Hornady Dylan Lee they use the standard thread so this is not this is going to work for every press in the market because this today I'm going to show you on the this uh, Hornady you just it's easy for me to work around. But these work with any press, any brand. The standard die, warning device, that's the detect uh, rod here. So I'm going to show you guys how this works. So basically this is go straight into the die to push in all the way to the end until you're not moving. And this still you still can turn it around to avoid hitting other uh, compartments or other device on the, on the die. So this still can turn it around, but make sure it's straight in. And this is go on top of the uh, your tool head there. And the, that's the last part, which is the detector center rod, go inside there. So once the center rod in, you see the lights off. Okay, so the concept is when so we're going to adjust this rod this is adjustable you can see this adjustable uh, screw there so basically basically once you put this on you need to dial to the desired length so this is on the machine so when the case i just bring one case there so when if an empty case or not enough powder case coming here so once you adjust this properly, so when this comes to this end, it's not going to have enough space, enough powder to push the, the won't have anything there. So that's got an empty inside there. So when this come here, empty case, it's not going to activate this rod. 
so the light will stay stationary. Then that's when the lights won't shine. You see the green lights? There's nothing there. So that's when you, when a round come here, you don't see the uh, green lights. That means there's no powder or not enough powder. But when a case with the powder inside, then the uh, lens is already, you already adjusted. So the powder is going to touch the little center rod there. It's going to push up just a tiny bit of movement there. You can see the lights up. So when you see the green lights, that means the powder is in and it's uh, uh, almost the same level you desire, you want it. So you can see that, that's the how it do. It's a, uh, okay, this design is a little bit different to the Dylan, the, you know, the, the powder checker. So everyone, if you have the Dylan, you have seen the Dylan powder checker, you can see the Dylan powder checker is a, a bit different. They, they, they don't use lights, they use a uh, sound. So basically, if you uh, not enough powder or too much powder, they, they, the, the device will give you uh, the warning sound so you know oh, something's wrong. All these devices won't tell you exactly how much powder you set there. So you roughly set a level. The level will be a little bit more, a little bit less, but at least you don't get really low powder or double charged. But this, my design is a bit different. This design basically is use lights. So I could, I don't call it, um, because this, this the device won't tell you if you double charged. If you double charge the powder, you got uh, too much powder inside there, this device won't tell you, won't give you the warning. This device will give you the warning if it's uh, not, no powder inside or very low powder. So this is why I call this a uh, low powder warning device. So if you double charge, they won't give you any warning, just uh, beware of this. It's a, this is a totally different concept. Let's uh, work another way around. So, okay, now I'm going to just put it on, then we'll demonstrate. We separate it first. Then we can just put the, the die into the tool head. You don't need to, to be too deep because you don't want the case to hit the, the die. So you can put an empty case there, raise up to see if there's any heating. So maybe just touching the your shell or even, uh, okay, just touching the, the case now. I back up probably half ten, then lock it. So okay, this is secure, and uh, yeah, not touching the case. Now we're going to put this on. Straight pushing, snug fit. So you see the pushing all the way to the end, and you make sure it's not touching the powder thrower because you don't want anything to touch each other. Okay, that's it on. Uh, the best angle is the, the, the little window facing you, so you can always see, you will notice the lights. The lights are quite bright, so you, you shouldn't miss it. So once it's on, you put this center rod there. So you see, once you put on, because this got a weight. So once this on, by the weight, we switch off the lights, the lights are off. So that means nothing there. So now, we see, okay, this empty case, nothing there. So when the empty case come to this end, you push in, you see there's no lights. That means you, you should notice there's uh, not enough powder or there's no powder in the case at all. So that's how we do it. So what we do is, uh, okay, we make adjustment for now. You lose this little locking screw here, loose a bit, then this center rod will drop freely. You see that that's drop all the way to the end of the, the case, so to the bottom. So that's, uh, okay, that's the case length there. So okay, that's just drop freely. This here, you can start to lock a bit. Okay, 
So that's the case. Empty case won't activate it, but the rod is here. Then what's, what you can um, make the adjustment is uh, there's two ways you can do it. First way you can do is uh, you put a case through your powder thrower. The powder thrower I already adjusted. Normally, uh, this is the 44 Magnum. And normally, I load only 5 grain, the, what's it called, the ADI um, Trobos. Yeah, 5 grain. So you go there, you just let the powder in, drop into the case. So you move to the next station. So you have a look at the, you check the case. You can see the, the powder is already in. Then, if you have a caliber, um, oh, I don't have it running here. So what you can do is you use caliber, you check how much powder inside there like uh, what's the powder level come up to like for from this angle it's hard for me to to show you guys so i don't want the powder come up the powder come up around this area here so from the bottom to here i would say there's about uh, 15 16 mil 15 16 mil there if you use a caliber you can get a quite a precisely so then what you need to do is, uh, you know the roughly the powder level is, and this length we, we already adjusted to the bottom. So that means this need to drop, this little locking nuts there, need to be dropped 16 mil here. So you loose a bit, let it drop to about 16 mil. This is roughly you, you want the, the powder level to be. So you put it back there. Then you can double check. You put this case, this already got a powder inside there. So you put in. Then you turn into this station, slowly raise up. Okay, so that's not going to be too much. You see there's no lights there. So, okay. What we do, we lose this screw again. Okay. okay. Just let the rod drop freely, just touching the touching the powder. So okay, we carefully lock lock here. Okay, you see that? That's the powder level right now. So, but you see there's no warning lights there. So that means we don't know the powder is in. So what do we need to do? Okay, now we know the powder level. We take this rod out. Carefully hold it. We drop the dial. Now the, give a one mil. Just one mil or even, depends on the powder. Because I'm using trowel balls at the moment, trowel balls is very sort of like fluffy. So when this rod touching the the trowel balls, maybe you know they move around. These are like, trowel balls are like little donuts. So if you use like a different powder, like a uh, little stick one or the ball powder, you know it's different. So there will be you, you can tell really precisely. But for me, the trowel balls I just can't get it. 100% because the troubles is so fluffy and the light, the moving around. But I just need a roughly the idea. So I dropped the one mil. Now we put it back. So that's guy's got a five grain troubles there. Go up there. Okay, we'll leave this way. Then make sure that you lose the, the locking uh, screw. Let it flow freely. You go there. When you drop the center rod, you do slowly and uh, carefully because you don't want to push the powder around. Let the drop, drop, drop until you're touching the powder. Yeah, that's touching the powder now. So you're going to lock here. Then you put this rod out there, so okay, 
before I did a little bit of rod, I actually moved the dial down. But if you move this down, that means the center rod is getting shorter. So the power is not going to reach there. So I did it. Uh, yeah, stupid. So we need to actually move this dial up. So that's why this is going to be a little bit longer to touch the, uh, the powder. So okay, I just hold this way, make sure I know where they started. Okay, loose the screw. So move up, I would say probably one, okay, one and a half mil. Use this to troll boss. Troll boss is fluffy. Okay, now I go inside there. Slowly drop it, light, light, okay. Okay, just try to check it, make sure the powder inside is level. Okay, not enough. So that's what I mean, the troll boss is uh, soft. So I hold this, give another meal, carefully, not too much, just do slowly. Then now, Slowly drop, drop, drop. Okay, now we're going to try that. So that's got powder inside there. Put it back. You'll see. Not enough. Okay. So that's going to need a bit more then. Okay, yeah, we just uh, put another meal up there. Okay, yeah, so see that? Okay, uh, roughly I got it. Of course, you can keep the dial dial, you know, until you um, you're more precisely. Okay, so that's the uh, see when you see this, this case already got a uh, five grain powder inside there. So when this case come to this station here, which is the checker, then when you raise up, the powder is going to, oh no, the powder must be moved around. Powder is going to push the center rod up. Then you see the green lights. So you just keep reloading, and you you know you you are just keep. Also pay attention to the lights. Every round come to this station. If the lights up, that's me. That's got powder inside of the case, and also. The powder is uh, reach the not hundred percent. I would say probably ninety percent of the level you desire that you set up. So, so that's the that's the main purpose to tell you when you're doing the reloading. So when the case come here, you see the lights. That means fine. You can go on, keep doing it. So just turn into next station, let it run. So, what's happening is. For any reason, there's an empty case there, there's no oh, oh, there's powder inside there, I forgot. You see, that's the mistake we're always making. We, sometimes we don't know if there's powder there or there's no powder there. So, yeah, okay, you see, I just made a mistake here. I've t forgot it. No. Okay, now, there's empty case now, which I'll put into this station. You see, I made a big mess. I got powder all over my working bench now. Terrible, terrible. Okay. Anyway, that, that happens. So now, this empty case there, you go to this station, you can see that this is nothing to push the center rod, so there's no lights. So that's, you start to notice, okay, something wrong. So that is uh, not enough powder, or there's no powder at all. So yeah, move this up. We now getting this one, it's got a five gram powder inside there, which I set up for this pistol. Okay. Push there. You see that? The powder actually activated the the little device. You see the green lights? Just say, yeah, that's that's the powder there. And it's uh, um, almost a level I wanted. So okay. Yep. So that's uh, the, the whole thing I want to show you guys today. This is the uh, main purpose. I designed this little device to preventing low powder or no powder.
So that's that's indicate uh, give you better indication. So it's more safer for our, for our shooters. The, for us, we're shooting, then we we don't want to damage our uh, firearm. And uh, you know, for a competition, you, you don't want stuck into a situation. You oh, okay. The machine running. All right. Okay. I just I uh, just uh, wrap up this. So hopefully this can give you guys a bit of uh, information. And um, okay. Oh no, noise is gone. Okay. So you know we back to the uh, the, the purpose of this uh, design. So when we do the competition, you don't want this to happen because you don't have time and you cannot make mistake. So if it's the, the, the projector stuck in the barrel, that means the whole competition, uh, the match is finished. You, you just can't do it. So there's, that's uh, the main purpose I designed this device to prevent this happening. Uh, then, yeah, okay. Hope you, you guys uh, enjoy. Thank you.